Hi, I'm Mariah, and for those of you who might not know, I am currently a culinary student and a pastry chef. And today I'll be showing you guys how I prepare my signature honey mousse plated dessert with all of the components, Michelin star style. I'll be taking you through the process, making each and every component, and it's gonna be really fun. For this dessert, you're obviously gonna be needing honey. I actually collected this myself, which makes me even more excited to use it. So let's do it. So before we get started, let me just show you guys all of the recipes. These are all the recipes for each and every component. The plated dessert in this video consists of five components, all of which I'll be showing you how to recreate. Whenever you're making a dessert that has a gelatin-based dessert or a mousse or a cold dessert that just needs time to set, you always start with that first. So we're gonna start off by preparing the honey mousse. For my mousse, I'm starting off by taking my milk, my honey, and my sugar, and I'm gonna boil that until all of the honey is dissolved. While everything is boiling, I'm going to whip up some cream until it's semi-whipped. And then once all of the milk and honey is boiled, I'm going to gradually add it to my egg yolks while mixing very thoroughly so that it does not scramble. I'm going to return everything back to the heat until it thickens a little bit and reaches just over 75 degrees Celsius. And then I'm going to add in my bloomed gelatin. And then we're going to let that cool before we fold in the semi-whipped cream. And as you can see, it's pretty loose here because I was a bit impatient. So yeah, but it's fine. I'm going to grab these molds that I'm going to be trying out for the first time that I am so, so, so excited to use. These are from Mold Brothers. It's not sponsored. Always want to try their molds and we'll be using this today. I'm pouring my mousse mixture into this honeycomb mold where I will place this in a blast freezer to set for about two to three hours until it is rock hard and then we can take it out. While the mousse is setting, I'm going to make a white chocolate soil. For my white chocolate soil, I'm going to start by boiling off some sugar and water until it reaches 118 degrees Celsius, which is typically the temperature we would use to make a meringue. And then I'm going to take it off the heat, add in my white chocolate and keep stirring until the chocolate sort of melts and starts to seize up and starts forming crumbs that like you'll see here. And if it's taking a while, you can return it back to the heat and there you have it you just have to keep on mixing and breaking up those clumps and eventually you will have your white chocolate soil now that that's done let's move on to our third component for my third component i made a chocolate twill and i'm just going to scrape it all along this realistic branch twill mold i also got from mold brothers and place it in the oven for a few minutes to reveal these beautiful realistic branches which are gonna give a little bit of a crunchy crispy effect to our plate I have been dying to try this mold and I'm so glad I finally have it. Next, what we are going to be making is something called pearls. In this case, honey pearls. I'm going to take my honey, add a little bit of water and I'm going to boil that mixture. Once it's all nice and boiled, I'm going to gently sprinkle in my agar agar and constantly whisk that on a rolling boil for two to three minutes very important when you're using agar agar make sure that your mixture whatever mixture you're using is boiling for at least two three minutes while constantly being mixed otherwise the agar agar will not activate once it has boiled for that amount of time i'm going to pour my honey agar agar liquid into a sauce bottle and then in another bowl, I'm going to fill that up with ice. I'm going to place a, another empty bowl on top, which I'm going to pour in some frozen oil. As long as the oil is around minus four degrees or colder, you're good, but warmer than that, and it's not gonna work. And the agar agar mixture would be 60 degrees Celsius. So I'm gonna pour in my oil, give it a little mix to thin it out since it's quite thick from being frozen. Then I'm gonna take my sauce bottle and just ever so slightly tip it upside down and spin the bowl really fast and just drip the sauce bottle. And as the mixture starts to drip down, it falls into the oil and the cold oil instantly solidifies that agar agar into a perfect sphere shape. And that's how we make our pearls. Once I've used up all of my liquid, I strain the oil and I rinse the pearls in some cold water. And this is how they turned out. And finally, for our final component, of course, you can't have honey without honeycomb. Typically, this recipe for honeycomb, I would use glucose and sugar, but for this, we're gonna use the honey. 
So I'm gonna take my sugar, my honey, and some water just to cover the top. I'm going to boil it until it's about 140 degrees Celsius. So just when it starts to caramelize, you're gonna take it off the heat and sprinkle in your baking soda. Before you do this, make sure you have a baking tray lined with baking paper, very important, because this is gonna be fast. So our mixture is at 140 degrees Celsius. Sprinkle in your bicarbonate of soda, give it a quick mix. It's gonna instantly start to puff up. This was really hard to get on camera because it was, I had to be so quick. And then you want to very quickly and carefully pour it into your baking tray or dish and let it cool. Do not put it in the fridge, don't put it in the freezer, just let it do its thing until it's fully cooled down and solidified. And then you can break it up into chunks. My favorite is when you plate this with some liquid nitrogen, it makes it so crispy and crunchy. But unfortunately, I did not have that on hand. But if you do have liquid nitrogen, it's, it's gonna make this way more amazing. And now that I have all of my components ready, it is time to plate. I actually made two variations because I, I can never make up my mind when it comes to plated desserts. I started by taking out the honey mousse from the mold. Look at how perfect this looks, you guys. This was a bit annoying because I needed it to be rock hard. It took a lot of waiting, but patience is key and it turned out super nice. I had some leftover honey left, the honey that I had harvested. So I put it in a tiny piping bag and I filled some of the gaps in the mold of the honeycomb to make it look as if it was bee pollen in the hive. And it looked so cute. I love this cute little touch of detail. And then I just placed some of the white chocolate soil around some raspberries and micro herbs, the honeycomb, the pearls, just everything. And this is the final result, you guys. I am so happy with how this has turned out. It might not be easy for you and that is okay, but I still encourage you guys to try it because you never know what you might be good at until you try it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my little baking tutorial and let me know if you'd like to see more. As always, if you are not updated but you would like to be, make sure to check out my Instagram at Marzi, two R's, two S's, as well as my TikTok at Mariah, M-A-R-R underscore I-A-H. And I'll see you very soon for another video. Bye guys.